Iron Chef, then, excuse me. So, where does the name uh, Chef come from? Why Why the name Chef? You ever been to one of those naked sushi parties? I'm getting excited. I've seen that ripped chest. Right. <laughs> why, why the name Chef? Red Seal Chef. Now, um, Iron Cook. No, Iron Chef. Right. So, obviously, you've got gold, silver, bronze, and then maybe copper, and then somewhere below that, iron. So, it's kind of like you came in fifth place, which isn't bad, is it? You no, know, there was 10 million people that watched me win that iron, so I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, 10 million, that's quite a few. In the few. States. That's 10 million That doesn't include the, yeah. So I think 10 million people watching iron's not a bad thing. No, not at all. Imagine how many uh, would watch if you had a one and got gold. Uh, if I wanted to become an iron cook, what is it that I would need uh, to, to do that. I'm ready to commit one, two, even three uh, months. I don't think you could ever be a chef. Right. No. What, would, what am I missing? What traits am I missing to be a chef? What is it that a chef needs that you think I may not have? Hmm. We're not friends! Good. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it was for me anyway, so not a big, not a big deal. So tell me, um, your mentor, you've often spoke of uh, your mentor, Michelle Jacob. Yeah. Which one? The, the woman or the guy? Michelle Jacob. Okay, if I get a shoulder injury now, I know where to go. Why would you have a point of sale specialist for Cactus Club as your mentor? Who are you talking about? Michelle Jacob. Jacob. Oh, Jesus, I thought you were talking about the guy that I worked for. So it doesn't make any sense. He's a chef. That makes total sense. He runs a restaurant called The Why would he want a point of sale specialist? As his mentor. But Roberto Luongo thinks he's big. I think uh, I could probably give him a big uh, kick in the can. Yeah. Come on, he's off. You're it's consistent, like, right? Right. If I was to take his place, I'd probably be the you know I'd be the starter every game. So you're a better goaltender than uh, Roberto Luongo. I don't quite. Of course. Struggle. So. Speaking of the Canucks, um, switch gears to Trevor Linden. He sells glasses now. Did he sell you your glasses? Uh, yeah. Where do you sit? Uh, as far as the celebrity status goes next to him. So I'm bigger than he is, yeah. Pound for pound, are you a better hockey player than Trevor Linden? I love Trevor. Right. You know, I almost won a Stanley Cup, not quite. So now, Iron Chef. This is kind of the Stanley Cup of the culinary world, isn't it? Yeah, you know, but I won, and he right. didn't, right? Does anyone just call you Bob? Uh, no. Right. My mum does. Right. Robert? Yeah, Robert. it's Rob, actually. Rob. Um, do you get called Cook Bob? Is that... A, is that Disrespectful. Well, Call me fucking chef. Okay. I, I won't. It's fine. It's, it's a chef! Okay? Oh. Chef! I've heard it. Swear. That's right. There's no Rob. There's no Bobbo. I, I, I deserve to be called chef. Good. You can have the scarf. You can have the scarf. You can have it all. Okay. By the way, it's chef. You don't have to swear. C H E F. Bob, come on. Uh, come on back. Come. Bobby, you, this is just. It's fun. You don't have to. Come on. Ah. Brilliant. Well, obviously didn't go uh, exactly as we had planned today, but uh, definitely good to catch up with uh, Chef uh, Rob Feeney uh, of the Cactus Club. Uh, no disrespect, good sport. But uh, hopefully we'll get to catch up with him again in the near future. But uh, ta-ta for now, back to the show.